welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler at Low Carb Thai. Today's video is going to be a grocery haul video. I'm also gonna show you how I'm meal planning for the week and all the meals that I plan to make with the groceries that I got. The total grocery haul came out to be about $155. I did shop at Publix on Instacart. Nonetheless, you can get these groceries, most of them from other grocery stores as well. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to do a different style of showing you my grocery haul today. All right, so the first thing I got was a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to make some chicken salad with this. So I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video how I make that. And then I got a 12 count of eggs. We just get the Vital Farms eggs. I got two green bell peppers. And we got three red bell peppers. Lately, peppers have been my favorite veggie to just chop up and throw into like a skillet meal. Um, especially like my, the barbecue chicken skillet meal I'm gonna make and I'm gonna show you guys the how I do that. Um, but yeah, it's very versatile. I just chop up one of these and like half an onion. I also got some green onion. I like to add this into my chicken salad. Along with some celery, I add this in my chicken salad as well. But also too, you can like use this to dip in your chicken salad or if you make other kind of dips and things like that, you can use that this for that too. It's also very versatile to add into other meals too, so. And then I got three onions, which one of them kind of looks a little nasty, but I didn't pick them out. I did Instacart, so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to clean these pretty well. And then I oh, just got some sausage. I like the breakfast sausage. I just get the Johnsonville original. I try to stay away from anything that says like maple or Vermont maple, stuff like that, because it has more sugar in it. For three links has only one gram of sugar. So I'm pretty good with that, two carbs. And another breakfast item, I got two things, uh, bacon, and we like the Smithfield Thick Cut. This is like the best tasting bacon in my opinion. I got two things of raspberries. They were BOGO today, so I picked those up. These are Matt's favorite. And then I get strawberries. I love to put this in an egg life wrap with some cream cheese and the RX chocolate syrup. I'll show you guys that at the end of the video with my meal planning, like how I put all these things together. But this is like my favorite dessert recently, so I love having that. For like a little quick snack, I also got some kielbasa. We just get like the Hillshire Farm kielbasa. Another thing that was BOGO this week were the Nathan's hot dogs. So sometimes we like to just grill these up with burgers on our grill pan, or you can air fry them or just do what my husband does and microwave them as a dessert option after your dinner. Then I got some unsweetened iced tea. A new thing that I've been doing this month was cutting out diet sodas. So I replaced it with unsweetened tea and I just put in my liquid stevia and it's amazing. Obviously you have to like iced tea to like that, but I mean, that's a good swap for me at least. And then I did get two of these, but I'm only gonna show you one. I got the Soak Cold Brew, it's my favorite coffee. I know it has some carbs in it, but I kind of account for that because it's literally my favorite thing ever. And then I got Sola Bread, the golden wheat one. It's two grams of net carbs per bread piece or seven total carbs. They are absolutely delicious. This is my favorite tasting keto bread ever our keto ratio yogurt. I got a lot of these actually. I think I ordered 12, but they gave me 13. So I got a bonus one, but I love the coconut. This one's my favorite. My next favorite one is the strawberry. This one's just like, if you add Lily's chocolate chips to this and then some like sugar-free whipped cream, oh my gosh. And I have the peach one. I haven't tried this flavor actually. So my coworker has been having this one. She says it's really good. So I wanted to try this flavor. And then just for a little different flavor than just strawberry, I got some mixed berry too. I get the sugar-free whipped heavy cream. This one has zero carbs and zero sugar in it. Um, obviously it kind of has some like super low in it and stuff. It's not the cleanest thing ever, but it is really good. I actually like this better than the ready whip one. These are our favorite barbecue sauces. I know that it's probably not the cleanest ingredients. This is the Ray's no sugar added original barbecue sauce. The no sugar added sweet and spicy one is really good too. But yeah, these were BOGO, so that's why I got two of these. That last week, I didn't show you guys, is this Jihu sugar-free famous cluckin' sauce. It tastes amazing. It's a complete dupe for Chick-fil-A sauce, but it has only one gram of carb for two tablespoons and zero sugars. Last but not least, I just got some chicken breast. I think that's everything of this grocery haul. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm taking all of this and what meals I'm gonna make with it this week. Okay, so this is gonna be one of my meal preps this week. I'm just doing some chicken salad. So I have this rotisserie chicken I'm gonna shred up. You can also save the skin on this and air fry it to make some chicken skins. So I'm gonna shred that up and then I'm gonna chop up some green onion and celery. 
And then this is the mayo that I like to use. This is the Chosen Foods one. You can also use like Primal Kitchen or Dukes or whatever you like. And then I'm gonna obviously season it with like salt and pepper. And this will just be a little grab and go snack or quick lunch idea. And it's easy to just throw in the fridge and grab and go. Okay, it doesn't look like much obviously right here, but this makes the best barbecue chicken skillet ever. So all I do is chop up some chicken breast. Now I'm not gonna use all of this. I'll probably use one breast for this. And I just dice it up and then I will season it with whatever seasonings that I'm feeling that day. Throw it into my cast iron skillet and cook it up in some like bacon grease or butter. And then I will chop up one of these small baby onions and a red or green bell pepper. Really doesn't matter the color. Um, and then I'll saute that up in some more bacon grease in the skillet. And then I will combine that once these are sauteed, I'll combine the chicken and then I'll add in like half a cup of the Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce, top it with some shredded mozzarella cheese, and then I'll put the skillet into the oven until the cheese is melty. Oh my gosh, chef's kiss. My coworker had told me about this and I made it that night. It sounded so good and it, it's the easiest meal I've ever made. So definitely give this a try. Another one of my recent favorite meals have been the zero carb chicken tenders. And I did make these before just using pork panko and that was it. And I actually threw them in my air fryer, but now I deep fry them. And I wanna show you guys this because it's literally, I'm obsessed with it. I make it so much. So I just cut some chicken breasts into thin strips and then I'll season them with salt, pepper, garlic powder. And then I make, first off, two eggs in an egg wash, whisk it up. And then in another bowl, do two parts pork panko to one part grated Parmesan cheese. And then I do sprinkle in some paprika. It's amazing, guys. This I get on Amazon and it's only pork rinds and salt. Then what I'll do is I dip the chicken into the egg and then into the pork panko Parmesan mixture. And in a skillet, I already had some bacon grease that I save from bacon drippings. I fry that up, I get it going. You'll know once the chicken is good, when it starts sizzling. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so good. It doesn't take too long either, maybe two or three minutes on each side. Um, I kind of eyeball it. And then at the end, I dip it normally in this Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce, but also too, I like the Primal Kitchen um, on sweet and ketchup. Literally one of my favorite meals, especially when I'm craving like deep fried chicken tenders, like, like a McDonald's meal or something like that. This is really a great save. Another easy meal that we're gonna throw together is some burgers and hot dogs and bacon and stuff like that. Um, so we'll probably do this as a grill out type thing for Memorial Day. However, we don't have a grill, we just have a grill pan. So we'll probably end up using that or like the skillet or something like that. So this is um, this is just some ground beef. We got this from Wild Fork, which is actually a really cheaper, much cheaper way of getting beef. I know this is gonna shock you, this looks weird. I, I totally know that, but it was, once you defrost it and you can form it into your burger, it tastes pretty good. So it's just cause it kind of looks weird doesn't mean it's not ground beef. So. Um, then we have Nathan's hot dogs, we have our bacon. So we'll just fry up some bacon, we'll grill up burgers and some hot dogs, and then top it with some cheese. We also have American cheese too, but I just got some provolone as well that we haven't used. And then we just top ours with like ketchup or yellow mustard, or we have some special sauce too in there. Okay, so another quick cast iron skillet meal that I'm gonna do this week, I don't know what to call this. I got this idea from Tiffany at My Adventure to Fit. She posted it on her Instagram and it looked amazing. So I'm gonna make sure I have some bacon cooked up and then I'm gonna like chop it up. What I'm gonna do is dice up my chicken pretty similar to my barbecue chicken skillet meal. And I'm gonna dice it up and season it with like salt, pepper, garlic powder. Those are like my safe seasonings. And I'm gonna throw that in a skillet with bacon grease, cook it up, add the bacon. And then I'm gonna throw in these artichoke hearts. I got these from Aldi a few weeks ago. I haven't used them yet. I was gonna make this recipe, but haven't done it yet. Once the artichoke hearts are in with the meat, I'm gonna crumble up one of these boards in garlic and fine herb cheese wedges. They're so good. So I'm going to throw that in with it, top it with some shredded cheese, move everything into the oven and broil it until the cheese is melty and gooey. 
And yeah, I might serve this actually with some cauliflower rice. Um, I think that would be really good. My favorite breakfast meal lately. So what I do is make up some bacon and this is the thick cut Smithfield bacon. It's my favorite. I will fry up two eggs and then add everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I toast up some of the Sola bread. This is the golden wheat one. And then I will put on some creamy peanut butter. It's my favorite thing ever. This is another take on eggs if I don't just want regular eggs. Um, and I'll usually pair this with the same meal. Um, it just kind of bouges up the eggs. So first is take a third of a cup of the Rouse marinara sauce and I put it into my little skillet. I'll season it normally with Italian seasoning, but I actually didn't have any, so I would probably just use this everything seasoning. And then I mix it up and I crack in two eggs into it. And then right on top of that, I will break up a slice of provolone and then like another, maybe like shredded mozzarella or maybe a slice of Colby Jack, something like that. I do two cheeses and then I cover it with a lid, let it simmer. Once the egg yolks are kind of whitened over, but they're still like soft, then you know it's done. And guys, this is delicious. It's like pizza eggs. You can also actually add pepperoni on top of it if you wanted that kind of vibe, but these are so good. And I'll always really, I'll have bacon with this too. Um, maybe not the sola bread and peanut butter, but like it's, it's delicious and it really keeps me full too. Okay, one of my favorite snacks, I have this every single day, whether it's after my breakfast or my second meal, is my keto ratio yogurt. I literally have it every single day and this is exactly what I do. If I'm not into this, I might do just Lily's chocolate chips, but usually I'm always going for my granola. So these are the keto ratio yogurts and the strawberry one is one of my favorites. I also like coconut, um, but this could really work with any flavor. They're all really good. So I just keep it in the little container and then I add in this new trail keto granola. You can get this at Costco, Publix, Amazon, maybe even Walmart. I'm not really sure. Um, but this one is the maple pecan or like the maple cinnamon. It's so delicious. I just keep it in a container because I get a big bag. I also like the blueberry cinnamon. That one's my all time favorite. And then I always add on top some cinnamon just to enhance the cinnamon flavor. Guys, it's so delicious. It keeps me so full. I don't add the recommended serving. I just do like a little bit, maybe like two tablespoons worth. And yeah, so that's probably about half or even less than half of the serving size, but it's so, so stinking good. Y'all have to try that granola if you haven't. And if you haven't tried these, if you're still on like the too good yogurt kick, definitely try the keto ratio yogurt if you can find it. It's so good. Last but not least, my dessert option for this week I'm doing my like strawberry cheesecake egg life wraps. So what I do is I take one of these egg life original wraps. You can also do like the cinnamon one too. This one has zero carbs in it and the ingredients are really good. Everyone asks me if they taste eggy and honestly, it's just something you have to try. I love them. My husband doesn't really care for them. However, just gotta try it. I don't think that they're eggy at all. I think they taste amazing. So. What I do is I'll spread some cream cheese on there. I don't really measure anything. And then I slice up about two strawberries, depending on how big they are. Um, if it's like two, like a large one, maybe all I need is one. And then I take this RX Sugar Organic Chocolate Syrup and I'll just kind of drizzle it over. Guys, it's delicious. So stinking good. It's what you're doing, making me feel 